Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to GIS World channel. Today I would like to talk about very important topic in QGIS which is the buffer. In QGIS a buffer is a geospatial operation that creates a zone or area around the geographic feature typically defined by a specific distance. So let's start how we can create a buffer in QGIS. So first of all we must come to the vector and after that here geoprocessing tool and then you know the first icon is the buffer and you can just open it and you know we have some definition regarding to our uh, parameters for example here this is the input layer from which layer that you would like to create the buffer we will start with the school and which is the point and uh, geometry and if you select the feature just this feature will be uh, you know make a buffer in it and you know this is a very important parameter this is the distance right now is by default uh, 10 meters and even you can just change it to the kilometers or feet or miles and here I would like for example to change it to the 100 meter and here here segment for example here you see the segment is 5 and it's written this, uh, the segment parameter controls the number of the line segment to use approximate to a quarter circle when creating rounded offset so maybe we can just make it more um, accurate like a 20 and here you have this chance to define the end cap style round flat square we will just do it the uh, round style and he here is a join style and you know we have the different join style but today we will talk about the round uh, join style and here for example we can just you know create a temporary uh, layer and see the result so by running the buffer you see the result has been added and uh, yes uh, this is the buffer uh, 100 meter from the this point those schools school one two uh, three four and five let's continue with the buffer uh, around the one uh, line geometry layer and if i just come again to the vector geoprocessing tool and buffer right now in this input layer map border as you see this is a line geometry and maybe we can define again like a 50 right now distance and the segment again 20 and uh, we will define round and so let's see the result so and if you see the result is right this the, the, this is the buffer and it, it will be like a left and uh, right uh, from this uh, border and this is the result so let's continue with the uh, one uh, buffer from the polygon as you see here uh, for example the parcel info is the polygon uh, geometry and after that if i just come here geoprocessing tool and the buffer right now here uh, info parcel info and just the distance uh, just considering like uh, uh, 50 meters and again 20 segments and the round and so just run the algorithm and you see this is the result from the uh this polygon you see it's really it seems chaos but you know in some cases maybe you can just select uh, some some values and after that just creating from those maybe i can show you right now so if i just come to this layer let's just make those off and here just uh, maybe select by this i would like to have the buffer from this one this one and this one and if I just come again to the vector geoprocessing and buffer here, this icon is activated. Select and uh, let's just just like uh, fifty meters segments uh, twenty, and let's see how is the result. So you see just the result coming from uh, these uh, three. Uh, parcels and you see the result so this, this this is the option in some cases for the uh, polygon it's um, it's helpful in this way let's continue with the other uh, kind of uh, buffer which we cannot see here if you come to the geo processing tool the buffer we just see this one but if you come to the processing toolbox and just writing the buffer you see some more options so let's start with the first one we will just uh, you know explore some of those create wedge buffer um, if i just click you see this algorithm algorithm creates wedge 
shape buffers from input points and if I just click it, you see just the uh, you can just uh, use it the school and after that you can just the uh, azimuth for example this is a decrease from north and wedge width and this is the 45 you know this is in degree so it means if you just consider one circle 360 and it will be just the 45 uh, degree of that and outer radius and just consider it like a 50 uh, outer or just 100 like this and inner radius just we do not need and if I just run the code you see the result are like this as you see it's a, just the 45 degree of that and if I just for example show you another uh, sample if I just for example uh, to 300 and this 100 and you see there what is the difference right now just input layer I must just and if I just run the code you see right now this is the 300 degrees and uh, this is the result let's continue with the another one uh, like a multi-ring buffer constants distance and here the input layer and uh, we will consider the school and after the number of the rings actually how many rings that you would like to you know visualize for example just consider it four and distance between the rings and uh, just like a, um, 10 meters or 5 meters maybe better to see and just let's see how is the result and if I just you know make uh, turn off and you see those how many rings do we have and how is the uh, distance between those uh, rings this is the result from this so let's continue with it for example this one single side buffer and if I just click this one here this algorithm buffers lines by a specific distance on one side of the line only so it means you can just uh, input layer as a line and here we have just one map border and here for example uh, like it uh, 50 and here you can just uh, you know choose which side left or right and here is a segment join style and it's the same like uh, you know the uh, buffer um, operation and if I just run you see we have one line and you know this is the left side uh, like this and if I just come again here input layer again like a 10 and this time instead of that right and let's see the result and you know it will be in the right side okay. as you see this topic is very important for the proximity analysis special queries and map uh, symbolization and environmental analysis so i hope you enjoy from this video and please do the like and subscribe our channel for the upcoming videos thank you again and see you soon bye